Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, I'm Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. And this month's soldering tip will be looking at a professional soldering station. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to look at is what? That's right, a soldering system. So here we go, let's take a look at this one. This is a Metcal soldering system made by OK Industries. It has a good variety of tips. It has a wand or a hand piece. It has a tweezer piece and it has a desoldering gun right there as you can see. And you can see in the background there that we have a good variety of tips to work with because you have different size of parts to work with also. But some of them tips are for also for desoldering. A good thing about a soldering system, it's got to be able to heat up an area rapidly and controllable manner. Okay, so that's the one thing that you want to look at in that. Okay, let's slide over here a little bit. Okay, you see the two little black pads down towards the bottom there? These are heat resistive pads. These are the pads that I utilize to replace my tips with. I don't want to use any sharp or metal objects on these tips because it could fracture the plating on the tips itself. So we don't want to do that. Now if you look back towards back behind the heat resistive pads you will see a Metcal uh, tip cleaner. This is for cleaning out uh, through hole desoldering tips because they can get clogged at times. So you want to be careful with that. And you got two other brushes to the left of the pads. They're also there to clean up your tips and make them look nice. Now the next thing that you're going to need is towards the back. You'll see a green spool. This is a SAC 305 lead free solder. And to the right of that is two white spools. This is my Eutectic solder. It's 6337. In other words, a lead solder. And I've got two different sizes there. I use the large size of 0.032 for through hole soldering and I use the smaller size 0.015 for normal surface mounted parts and for areas that might uh, not need a lot of solder. Then we go on over and we'll see three bottles. One says water on it, that is to keep our sponge dampened at all times. Then we have an alcohol bottle, that is the rectangular shaped one with the silver top on it. That one there is to uh, clean our boards pre-soldering uh, and then to clean up our area of any flux residue that might be left over after our soldering. And that goes to our next bottle on to the right. And that is my flux bottle. And currently what is in it is an Alpha Metal Rosin 800. I like it well, uh, I can get a good wetting going on onto my board. And it also has a needle on top and that's a 24 gauge one inch needle. That way I don't distribute a lot of flux. Okay, now if you look on down below there, you'll see a variety of tools to work with. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in on these a little bit so you can see them a little bit easier. There we go. And if you notice that there's three different sizes of styles of pliers there, one is round nose for uh, wires to go around terminals and stuff of that nature, or to even help form your leads. Then you got the one needle nose pliers down below that. It's the blue handle twins. Okay, again to help possibly form leads and to form wires and a variety of other little tasks that you might need. And then the yellow handled ones down there, these are for cutting. These are my diagonal cutters, okay? They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. All I need is small ones to cut, maybe small wire below uh, 20 gauge wire, and these work rather well. These also work well with uh, when we're clipping our leads off of our components for through hole. So that's what you want there. Then to the left of them, you'll see that I have two different size styles of tweezers. One is a 90 degree one and the other is straight. And it's, it's your preference. So use what you want there. They make a round nose style too. So there's a good variety of these tools out there also. And then you'll see the item to the left of that that is what we refer to as a Christmas tree, but actually the name technical term is a lead forming tree for through hole components. Okay, 
and it comes in a variety of shapes and sizes also. Then over there on further, you'll see a couple of dental tools. Yeah, the nightmare begins, right? Uh, dental tools, you think you're gonna get some work done. But these are actually there to uh, help hold components into place if you wanna use them if you're very delicate, or uh, maybe helping remove some conformal coating off of a board. Conformal coating helps protect the board from the environment. Okay, then next thing over is a, what we'll refer to as an orange wood stick. It is a soft metal, and I utilize this to form leads, to scrape uh, conformal coatings off my boards if I have to. Uh, it's a non-abrasive tool. It should not cause any damage. Then on to the left of that, even further, you'll notice that there is an, a brush. This is referred to as an acid brush. It's ESD safe and uh, what we do is put a little alcohol on it and we scrub our boards with that. And then over to the left a little bit further is a vise, it's called a pan of vise. It's to hold uh, boards into place if you want to utilize that, hold things safe so you can work a little bit freer without it moving around on your tabletop. And there is another style of vise right there too. If you can see it below these uh, two little blue spools, okay, that's another style of vise with a set of wing nuts and I use this for terminals and sometimes holding wires into place also. Now right above that, a little terminal and below the other tools is, like we said, two blue spools. These, this here is solder wick. This is to clean any excess solder off of our board. And I've got two different sizes there. Uh, one is a number two and one is a number three solder wick and it comes in um, no clean clumps and rosin or no type of flux on it whatsoever and if you notice there off to the right a little bit you'll see a dime and a penny what I utilize this for is on my board is to measure the distance from my through hole away the dime is approximately 1.3 millimeters thick and uh, for class 3 requirements a lead cannot be any more than 1.5 millimeters away from the board so that's a good measuring tool now I've seen people use uh, wire different variety of things to measure with even make a little jig out of metal so it's up to you what you want to utilize okay now let's go further back a little bit and look at some things you'll see a box of chem wipes back there after I'm done cleaning my board with isopropyl alcohol that alcohol is going to evaporate all it did was dilute the flux and here what I'm going to do with this is actually as soon as I'm done cleaning rapidly, I'm going to go down there and dab all that excess flux that I can off there and that alcohol and it'll be absorbed up into this chem wipe. Okay, so it's a good tool to have. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit here and you'll see uh, right above all that is a ring lamp. Okay, ring lamp is going to provide uh, lighting to your workstation but also let me show you here real quick is that it has a magnifier on it so I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit easier so I don't wear out my eyes and then to the right of that is an item that I am I enjoy the most because it allows me to see my job a little bit easier it is a stereo zoom microscope okay in other words the lenses are independent of each other okay and I can see fine pitch stuff like it's larger than life instead of like a, an 0201 size component of a uh, chip component it looks like it's about one inch instead of like in hundreds of an inch in 0 hundredths of an inch so you can see that this is a very valuable tool to work with and then you'll see the silver hose there that is to draw the fumes away from me as I'm working. So this all works well together as a unit. You can see a good variety of tips, tools, and equipment to utilize in a professional soldering station. I hope you've enjoyed this and a little bit of knowledge of possibility of what you might need to do a good quality job at your workstation. You don't have to have all this stuff, but it, it makes your job that much easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a nice day.